Hey YouTube, this is uh, Sasquatch Piper. Finally back, being able to get back here in my sanctuary. The, got a couple creeks I got across when it rains. I, I ain't, I ain't doing it. <laughs> but uh, today at work, I uh, come across this really cool lighter. It's a uh, a champ. I don't know. Let's see. Can you see it? It's got the patent number on it and everything. Um, when I checked the patent number, brought this lighter up to, uh, from the 1950s. And it still works good. Tonight I'm puffing on my uh, my uh, Missouri Meerschaum Legend. This is my favorite of all my cobs. First cob I ever got. I've said that before. And in it, I've got some uh, Prince Albert. Just gonna sit back here and puff on it. Still work. The fire still works good. Well, might be running out of fluid now. There we go. Yeah, she's running out of fluid. But um, might be a little bit noisy. They've got a softball game uh, over in the field. But I thought I'd come back here and just smoke a pipe with you. Yeah, she's running out of fluid. Okay. Mmm. The tower's good. Uh, this is that time of the evening, like I've said before. Man, I love getting back here. I've missed coming back here. Well, I hope you guys had a good week. I'm off tomorrow. Which is good. I've been we've been busy at work. Uh, it's a secondhand store. We take in. Um, uh, Pretty much what people don't want, you know, after they get done with their yard sales or whatever, they'll bring it by and donate it. And um, find some interesting stuff. Um, we can't sell lighters and stuff that, that are brought in, so I was happy to be there to get this lighter. It's a good one. The, hin the hinge is loose on it but uh still still works good i've been lighting the heck out of it probably why it's out of uh out of fluid <laughs> i'm glad i was able to get this thing lit because i didn't bring another lighter with me Oh, tired. It's been a long week. I'm glad to have tomorrow off. I really didn't have anything to say. Just wanted to come out here and smoke a pipe with you. Smoke a pipe. Relax. Show you my new lighter. I got a, we got it in a 1960, 1965 uh, Playboy today too that was kind of that was kind of interesting actually uh, believe it or not uh, they uh, the first two uh, ads that I come across were pipe ads
I didn't really get a chance to see what kind of pipes they were about the time one of the supervisors saw me looking through it she was like what are you doing <laughs> made me look like a pervert but <laughs> I said like look at this old magazine I'm trying to play it off play it off but uh, she was like uh-huh sure Well, it was pretty neat. We're getting in a lot of old stuff. A lot of, uh, a lot of times people, their old, uh, grandpa or grandma had passed away and stuff that they don't want, they'll just bring in, donate it. And, um, everything that's sold goes to charity. All the money that's sold, they, they help people that need help with, like, electric bill or something like that. You got these kinds. Of, you got these stores all over the place. And they don't want me to mention what kind of, you know, the name of the store. But you got them everywhere. I'm sure you already know where it is, what it is. But uh, nice, nice, uh, nice company to work for. I don't make them a lot, a lot of money, but nowhere near the money I was making butchering. But man, I had to get out of that. I was, I was at. Um, I was hurting from head to toe, starting to, all my joints. Guess I'm just getting tired of being in that cold, I guess. But, uh, it's been interesting working there, though. I like it. When we see anything we get in, we gotta put it on the shelf for two hours, and then we can buy it. But, um, in this case of the lighters, stuff like that. Uh, we can't put we can't sell them so we basically just have to throw it out um, but uh, we want it we can have it uh, you usually have to pay like a quarter or something for it. but man I worked the door today I did donations people come in with furniture and all that back breaking We get in like old stamps. We got in this huge uh, stamp collection the other, like, I guess it's been about a couple weeks ago. Uh, there probably was about a thousand, thousand, about, at least about a thousand dollars worth of uh, valuable stamps there, probably even more. And it was all kind of loose. And it would take a guy forever to go through them and categorize them and stuff like that. It had some in books. The books themselves were from the 60s, late 50s, early 60s. The books themselves are probably worth worth money. But then they had some uh, stamps in there too. Uh, old ones. Elvis Presley and Hank Williams and some of the old presidents. Some were, uh, had been, you know, stamped from the mail. Some weren't. Some never been used. Old magazines. Really old dishes, you know, carnival glass, stuff like that. I got in, the, uh, we got in a nice pair of uh, binoculars today. Probably from the, like the, look like it was like about the 60s. Cool stuff. If you're into antique stuff like I am, old newspapers come in and all kinds of stuff. Uh, funny story, uh, I read about this old house from like the 1800s and they were uh, renovating and um, they knocked in a wall to open up a room and the lady found, I think it was 80, 86 six unopened cans of uh, Prince Albert from uh, 1928. The tax stamp was 1928. Man, I would love to get a hold of stuff like that. Unopened. But, uh, she, she was just throwing some suggestions out there. Um, there was no way the previous owners 
could ever reach it, like reach into the wall, you would have to punch a hole into the wall to get the, this tobacco out. And she had no idea why anybody would do that. And one of the things she was saying is that she thought maybe it was a guy that was trying to stop smoking. And if you're that desperate to punch a hole in it, then um, you're pretty desperate. But I thought that was kind of neat, kind of odd. See some, you hear about some odd stuff, but I thought that was kind of neat. It'd be neat to see that uh, Prince Albert unopened. She said she opened one of them and, and it was still nice and fresh. Uh, as if it had just been made. 1928. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of into all that kind of old stuff, but uh, really draws my attention. I wish, like I told uh, one of the managers today at work, I said, you guys, if I didn't have bills, you'd probably have half my, uh, half my paycheck with just the stuff that comes in there. <laughs> well, thought I'd just come out here and chat with you for a little bit. Time flies, already 11 minutes, but uh, getting dark anyways. So you guys have a good night. I got some visitors, looks like coming through the woods. But um, you guys have a good night, keep her smoking.